Tonight, WYFF News 4 investigates the dumping of hundreds of personal and county documents behind the old Greenville County complex. Our Carlos Flores joins us live from the site with the details. Carlos, what have you learned? Well, Carol and Gabby, since the last time you saw me at four o'clock, we did some walking around around the site. We actually stumbled upon some of those documents that have blown all the way to this side of the complex. You can see one over there and one town there. We found a whole stack of these just on the other side of this fencing on the public road. And this is why community members reached out to us. They're concerned. So we went looking for answers. Hundreds of files just sitting outside. It calls a call for concern on how like personal and county information is destroyed. Troy Cormier was driving home when he did a U-turn in the parking lot of the old county complex. It was there he found this mountain of loose papers. Basically hundreds of tax, there's hundreds of tax documents, there's personal information I found, like driver's license, social security. One of the documents he sent us was an old property tax receipt for Kathleen Moss. It's a level of incompetence really that um, it couldn't be more secure. It could have been shredded before it was left out actually. Officials with Greenville County sent us the following statement saying a contractor moved real property documents that were inside and placed them where they were visible but still in a secured area. They are in the process of being destroyed. The, the gate was wide open. There was nobody around. And you could just really walk through last night and take all the documents you really wanted to. Because they're, they're not in a secure area. It was wide open. It's always something, it seems. There just seems to be a level of incompetence these days where people don't really think things through. If something happened, I would be left on my own, I'm sure, to try and, and sort everything out, for instance, if... Well, Moss and Cormier both hope that these documents will be picked up and disposed of properly. Since the last time we saw each other, uh, the uh, Greenville County Sheriff's Office and deputies have arrived and they're already in, in the process of going some of those documents right now. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.